All right, so we're just going to also quickly talk about uh, exposure and camera exposure and the relationship between light and shadow. Uh, and this is important because if we break these rules too far, uh, our CG is going to look fake. So we need to just understand a very basic understanding of camera exposure and um, the, the rules we can, pl the, uh, the bounds that we're uh, playing in, in this uh, uh, game here. So uh, if we have our footage here, uh, this is an example of overexposed. So if I just increase exposure, uh, you guys know what an overexposed photo looks like. It's just um, the highlights are getting blown out and you're losing all of the detail um, in the highlights. Uh, but we're also seeing more detail in the shadows. We have a normal exposure and then we have uh, an underexposed shot. So you see we have more detail in the highlights, um, but we're obviously losing you know, some of the, the lower end and it's a bit darker overall. So you've probably heard, or you may have heard the term HDR or high dynamic range. Um, and what that looks like is basically you're taking the, the two and you're compositing them together, essentially. Um, so if we take a look at what that looks like, uh, let's use a different picture as an example, actually. So we have our normal picture, we have our overexposed picture. Um, you see in our normal picture, we have all the detail in the sky, but you know all the trees are pretty dark. But if we, ex if we overexpose our picture, we have all the detail in the trees. Uh, an HDR photo is essentially taking multiple exposures and combining them together, uh, usually three exposures. Um, but this is, um, this is what the HDR version look like. So here's the normal and here's the HDR version. So it's, it's, it's not uh, realistic. It looks aesthetic in some ways and sometimes in photography we're doing HDR photography on purpose. Um, but usually when you're dealing with film, and trying to make something look real, we don't want to do this. We don't want to see all the detail in the shadows and the highlights at the same time, uh, because that's just not how you know the camera works um, when we're filming video. A video doesn't film HDR video, so you have to have you have to either be you know in a normal exposure or overexposed or underexposed. You're not going to have all three at the same time. So if you grade your CG to have all the detail in the shadows, even though it's there, it's gonna look fake. So that's why I'm kind of teaching you guys this, just quickly going over it, because if you don't understand the relationship between highlights and shadow, um, you know, I can show you the grade node, but you don't know what you're doing. You're gonna, you're gonna grade it the wrong way, in, in a physically inaccurate way. Um, so again, uh, relationship is broken um, between the highlights and shadows, and we wanna avoid trying to make our CG not look uh, or HDR basically um, this is really common if you see like newer people doing matte paintings or sky replacements you know if it's a bright day you might not see all the detail in the clouds um, depends on the lighting of course but uh, you know it's just all, all good things to note so that's just a quick overview of exposure and a couple things to keep in mind um, yeah so let's move on